If you want it, go ahead and get it. This is the time to be focused. This is the time to be heavily focused. Ask yourself, what are you creating for yourself? Are you creating problems, obstacles and challenges? Or are you creating solutions, better options and growth? If you look at a politician, a successful one, a sportsman, a successful one, if you look at a television star, you will find out that these people work for 16 to 18 hours a day. So if you think you're doing JE or NEET and IIT, and if you're putting in that kind of an effort, I'm telling you, even after you succeed in real life, that's the kind of time that these people put in. They put an enormous time to work on their body, their mental health, their mental stability, and to say no to everything that's not important to them. They will find out what they're good at and spend the entire day doing what they are good at you too must do that find what you're good at now spend the entire time doing that in the pursuit of getting what you really want to get and avoid these distractions say no to everything that takes you away from your goal but before that know your goal and if you're not going to know your goal you will be mediocre for the rest of your life and mediocrity is a crime mediocrity is knowing that there is an elephant in the room and not doing anything about it mediocrity is a sin when excellence is given to you why don't you step ahead Put in your best focus and embrace that success. Rather choose to be mediocre. I know so many people who are willing to be mediocre because they're not fighting for the cause that they really stand for. They want to be lazy. My question to you is, don't you know what you want to do? My question to you is, don't you want to do what you know you should be doing? Then what is stopping you right now? For what reason are you lazy? For what reason are you procrastinating that dream, that goal, that purpose? of your life so when life will hit you will you rise above successful people are not the ones who fight back at life successful people are those who can really take as much as beatings and take as much as hard hits that life has to offer and then stay put committed to the most important goal whatever that is what is your most important goal write down and let me know that what is that fire in your belly what is that you really want to do and how the hell do you stop yourself from achieving that goal i think laziness is the most absurd mediocrity that people embrace I think most of you all don't want to succeed as much as you want to be on Facebook, as much as you want to sleep, as much as you want to be lazy, lazing around, wasting the entire day. Ask yourself, what have you done in the entire day? It's a time to make that decision. Make that decision, jump out of your bed, find out your motivation, find out your goal and just do it. If you have decided what to do, then here's what I'm telling you. Some more things which will add to your decision, some more things which will help you stay put on that goal. You know, in Japan, they have this Kaizen technology, which is doing things a little on a regular basis at a definite time. So let's say you have problem learning physics. Let's say you have problem doing the numericals. I'm telling start small and start less. Let's say you do at 11 o'clock today, physics, numericals, do it for five minutes today, do it tomorrow for five minutes, do it the next day for five minutes and then take it to 10 minutes, then take it to 20 minutes and then take it to 16 hours over a period of 10 days or a period of one month or a period of two years. I don't know how much is your resilience i don't know how much you can take but do a little every day of that which makes you uncomfortable be it exercise be it studying chemistry equations or whatever follow the kaizen technique that's important practice the kaizen principle on the face of adversity practice the kaizen principle on the face of procrastination something new a little as small as it could be it is better than nothing yeah plan well another thing to face laziness is to plan well plan realistic achievable actions evaluate that on a daily basis i'm telling you the laziest of the laziest person will be able to get out of bed and fight it if you know that you have a goal a compelling goal a goal that motivates you to plan well every night so that the next day you can see and do what you really planned at the end of the day check whether what you planned yesterday did you succeed and are you willing to plan more for the next day? Be it little, be it small, be it five questions of chemistry, be it 10 MCQs of physics, be it 20 questions of maths, but plan every day something that you will achieve the next day. That is how you will bash laziness. That is the only way how you will combat laziness and you come back up strong in the pursuit of what is important to you. The food you eat, 
the water you drink, the liquids you drink, the physical exercise and the mental exercises. These four things will empower you to face laziness. The food that you eat, fruits, veggies, very important, protein intake, vitamin intake. This is what is going to keep you active. This is what is going to keep you bubbly and chirpy, focused and on path. The water that you take, the liquids and the fluids are so important to keep you lubricated, to keep you hydrated, to keep you on the go. The physical exercises gives you physical resilience and strength. The mental ex exercises gives you a stability to take the shit, to fight and to have that positive self-talk so that you don't go down the spiral. These four things are very important if you want to beat procrastination, beat laziness on the face of adversities which will happen to you every time when the devil talks to you. That's the time you face it you beat it you defeat it I'm sure some of you would be already trying all of this that I've been talking about uh, let me know in the comment section how is it once you try all these things if you're a parent a teacher or a student or whoever listening to this video I'm sure most of you would have tried everything that I'm talking over here or at least something let me know in the comment section how was it what results do you see some of you all would have tried some of this for some time weren't the results good of course it had to be good right why are you stopping yourself from continuing this the last thing that i want to share with you is the power of sleep do not underestimate the power of a well defined healthy period sleep you get up the next day fresh what's the point if you get up the next day when you're not fresh and you're tired and you're bored and you're not happening everything that you planned the day previous will go flat therefore sleep is important very important i hope you liked what you heard if you did do like do share do comment do subscribe to the channel there are plenty of children viewing this and we are so grateful that you are one of them we look forward to create a community a community of empowered children teachers who can support these children and parents who can stand with them and watch them grow so that in the end there is application and applause good luck children and face laziness on its face.